Okay, here we are with Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory, Unit 2, Lesson 6 on Note Values. This is page 10, if you're wondering where to go. Um, I highly recommend that you have the Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory books. Uh, you should definitely have done the work before you watch this video. Unless you really get stuck and you, and you need the video to help you out. Okay, so here we go. Let's get right into it. Uh, we're dealing with three note values on this page. Whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. Okay? Whole notes look like this. They describe it as an open oval. Half notes look like this. It's uh, the open oval with a stem on it. So that's called the note head. That's called the stem. Quarter notes have a note head that's filled in and a stem. Okay? Uh, now, let's just talk about how these are kind of delineated. I like to think about it as a hierarchy. On top, you've got the whole note. Okay? And that looks like this. Boom. You know, it's just an open oval, right? And then a whole note, if you break that in half, you get the half note, right? So a whole note breaks down into two half notes, right? So there's your half note. And then each half note breaks down into two parts as well. So that's going to break down into, this half note is going to break down into two quarter notes. And this half note is going to break down into two quarter notes, okay? So that's your quarter. Whole note looks like that, half note looks like that, quarter note looks like that. Now, these all equal the same length of time, right? A whole note equals four beats. Two half notes equals four beats. Oop, four bats, I'm writing four beats. Excuse my writing. And four quarter notes equals four beats. Okay? So hopefully that helps you understand exactly... Uh, what these note values are and and what they do. Now let's just get into how to use them. Okay. First, let's talk about stems. Uh, some st some stems extend downward on the left side of the note, or so, so on the left side when the note appears on or above the third line of the step. So if you have your staff, which is one, two, three, four, five lines, the third line and up. The stems are all pointing down in this direction, coming off the left side of the note, okay? Stems extend upward on the right side when the note appears below the third line of the step. So everything below that third line, the stems come off the right side of the note and go up, okay? Stem length should continue to the space or line with the same letter name above or below. So see this F note right here on this space? The stem goes all the way up to that F line, right? And the F note head right here, the stem goes down to the F space, okay? So that can be a little tricky to do, you know, once you start getting into, uh, you know, you don't have to draw ledger lines for your stems or anything like that. Um, let's just get right into the work. All right, fill in the correct, fill in the blanks with the correct number. B, uh, how many quarter notes equals a half note? That's going to be two, right? Because if you look at your sheet, Two quarter notes equals one half note, right? Two quarter notes go into a half note. All right. One whole note equals four quarter notes. Again, if you look at your little chart here, four quarter notes, if you go up the hierarchy, is the same as one whole note. D, two half notes equals a whole note. E, two half notes equals four quarter notes. And for F, one whole note equals two half notes. All right, <clears throat> number two, draw the stems in the correct direction with the correct length. Write the names of the notes between the staff, okay? So C, make sure your stem goes up to C, which would be above the staff. Boom, make sure you're thinking about bass clef and treble clef. Spaces in bass clef are all cows eat grass. 
lines in treble clef, every good boy deserves fudge. So if you still need to remember those things, feel free to, to say those out loud and, or in your head, whatever you got to do. This one is for our stem. It's A, so it should go up to A, which is above the staff. Write your A. This is on the line, so it's going to be going down. Remember, on the line or below goes down. B. And we'll just do the work here so that you can check it if you need to. Boom. Cat. All right, this one, the stem goes down on the left. It's going to be B. This one, the stem's going to go up on the right side of the note, B on up to the B space. That's also a B. This is a C. The stem is going to be on the left side since it's above the middle line. Uh, this is below the middle line, so the stem's going to go up on the right side of the note from G on up to G for the stem. And this last one is an A, so that is going to go all the way up to the A line. And just put your note there. All right. Number three, draw the treble clef and write the indicated notes. Use only notes within the staff. That's just saying they're not looking for any ledger lines, okay? Notes within the staff. They just want these on the staff. All right, I'm going to draw my treble clef here. However you draw it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look at mine, it doesn't look beautiful. You know, just, just draw your treble clef. Anybody who is reading this would know what I meant there, even though I'm not the most beautiful artist in the world. Just keep working to make them look better. All right, this is asking for a C whole note. So boom, F-A-C-E. So if you remember face for your spaces, put it right there. Here an A quarter note. Again, you can remember your spaces, F-A. What's our stem direction? It's below the middle nine, so it's up on the right side of the note head. Quarter notes are filled in. E is a half note, so we're gonna make that open oval because our half notes are open ovals. And look at, you can put this E either here on this line, or if you put it up on this space, that's okay too. So for this line, the stem's gonna go up, right? Uh, but if you had put it on this space right here, you'd have the stem going down from the from the left side of the note. There we go. We got an F whole note, so I'm gonna put that on the space. Just draw an open oval. Again, if you wanted to put it up here, that would work too, right? Either F works a B quarter note, every good boy, there you find your B. If it's on the middle line or down, the stem goes down. So there we go. I, I like to just kind of make a diagonal little filled in kind of thing for my quarter notes. D quarter note. Uh, let's do it up here. D, and the stem's going to go down in this case. Uh, or it really should go down to D, which would be below the staff for my stem. G half note. Let's draw it right here. Boom. Since that's the below the middle line, the stem needs to go up on the right side of the note. Boom. All right now, it's the same thing except we're just reading in bass clef. So let's make our bass clef. Um, Make sure you put the dots on either side of the F. Okay. And we got an E half note. So what's our mnemonic device for bass clef? All cows eat grass. And so that's that half note is going to be right on the E space for all cows eat grass. And then the stem is going to be on the left side going down because it's above that line. All right. A D quarter note. Hmm, you could go good boys do fine always to find that D and you make it a quarter note stem going down. If you wanted to just remember all cows eat grass, you could go all cows eat. And so since it's in alphabetical order, you know that's cows for the space, the next line is gonna be a D. Okay, A whole note. Let's go all cows eat. So we know it's A, boom. Right there, there's your whole note. C quarter note, let's use our all cows again. All cows eat grass. So it's going to be cows, all cows, the second space for C. And that stem is going to be going up. 
F half note, all cows eat grass. Hmm. You could go alphabetical order, all cows eat, for E, what comes after E? F, and that F is gonna be right on that line. It's a half note, so it's gonna be open, stem going down on the left side. Or if you remember that the bass clef is the F clef, and you see that line in between the two dots, that is always going to be uh, your F, because that's how uh, you just kind of remember that. The, the line in between the two dots is F in bass clef. Now we've got B whole note. Let's, uh, at, let's do good boys do fine always for bass clef. So good boys, ooh, that's gonna be the second space. Um, I liked uh, one student's example. Uh, He's a Packer fan, and he re, and he said Green Bay, Green Bay. So you could remember that, and you could just remember the first two lines that way in bass clef, and then you can just do alphabetical order for the rest of it. So here we go. Here's our whole note, right on the B. G half note. Um, let's just go. Good boys do fine always. Or so so that way you could put the half note here on the good boys G. Stem going up on the right side. Or you could do it on the last space, right? All cows eat grass. You, if you put it there and have the stem going down on the left side, that's okay too. So there's a lot of ways you can do it. Check your work. Hope that helps and we'll see you next time.